Well, here we are. Middle of the week. In prime form, peak form, performance form, whatever form you want to call it, formula form. We are now in an urban world, which is hopefully not a repu reputable or reputable. I don't know how you want to uh, do the emphasis on the syllable here for uh, what I'm trying to say, but this is someone who maybe potentially, I thought they said farts dumpster, dumpster but that's just as good, uh, who won't have me do things like, uh, this is probably Norway, uh, a map where it's just one photo of inside of a Chinese written building go, ha ha ha, it's actually Sierra Leone. I don't think it's going to be one of those things. So I am in this, which is, they, they basically called it like mostly towns. It's a work in progress, they said, and they're hoping for no photospheres, I guess, is their, their thing. So I'm here to uh, test it out as uh, I put myself in this region of the world. You know, Norway is a long country. Again, another hot take here. Uh, hitting home, going the other way. I would have got stuck in that, like, intersection. No, I wanted this button. All right, I got to make a decision, and I got to stick with it. Okay, we got a flag here. Um, I see a church, and by that it's just a flag, because I'm an idiot. I think it's this way. How's your week going? Mine is happening. Um, kind of got myself into this weird cycle now of... Oh, we're going to get these, so prepare yourself. All right, I got to pick a place before I forget. Um, this is kind of a townish place. I'm just going to say we're in Bergen for no reason. I mean, I don't see any, like... Water, so maybe I'll just say we're a little hammer. Although I haven't seen any like uh, anything telling me that there's like Olympic signage anywhere. So, <clears throat> but I got myself in this habit now of being stuck looking at Amazon, and it's kind of a bad thing. I don't know if I like that I'm doing it. Uh, they just had some deal of the day yesterday where they had a refurbished vacuum, and I was. I don't know if I'm sad that I was excited that I found that I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I found it or saw it, but I'm happy I have a vacuum now, and I hate this world where I'm fine with vacuums. I don't know what type of elitist thing I'm trying to say. We're just like I don't feel that maybe, like I'm not abandoning, but I'm like like disregarding what I thought was exciting and okay maybe there is some water over here what I thought I'd be interested in as a kid and if they saw me 15 years if like me 15 years ago or even like 20 years ago saw me now and I want to go faster get me down this road faster saw me and what I like excited maybe not excited but interested in I would probably disappoint myself. So I'm seeing like a little bit of land. So I'm going to actually put our... S Shit, I got to make a Trondheim. Hmm, I got to make a choice. Um, uh, Kinsvarnvik. Well, fuck, we were... We were up a little farther in uh, Bodo or Bodo. I don't know how you actually say it. But uh, got the... Got the country right. Uh, get off the screen. Come on. Thank you. So here we've got... Hmm, I don't know. And, like, I got excited that I found that vacuum, and I'm like, uh, this is great. Uh, so I went and looked today, and I'm like, oh, this is exciting. And I, I found myself, like, feeling the need to uh, Galicia. Galicia is a Spanish... 
place, I believe. I feel I've seen it before. Isn't it in the northeast? Give me a moment. Like, I feel this is a thing I've seen. Or it's a region of uh, Spain that I've seen in games like uh, Europa Universalis is a place. <clears throat> but I'm not seeing it here. I'm a little concerned, but I was thinking of things to buy as far as like, you know, I'm hiking. Should I buy a few other little things? And it's just, it's kind of turning into like a needing to spend money. And I don't know if that's something I want to continue doing. Like I should just save my money for other things, but I don't know. What's the point of money? You know, I want to spend it. Fuck, I got to figure out where this is. This is Spain for sure. Um, but I'm not seeing Galicia. I mean, that is a Spanish town, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not dumb. I mean, I am, but I'm, I'm not mistaken in this instance, am I? We are near the water, I'm assuming. Uh, let's see, we've got... That doesn't tell me anything. God, I'm so mad that I... It's like, like Galicia is just not showing up. It's not as easy as I want it to be. This sign may help me. Parochia Santo Tomas Apostol. That doesn't help me. Give me vision of where we are. All right. I'm going to look along the coast here. This is really starting to bug me. It's not that small, is it? I got Valencia, Gibraltar, Tangier. Why is Galicia just not, like, jumping out of my face? This is very angering that, like, what I think it is is not just showing up. And maybe I've gone over it twice, 15 times at this point, because I do have the constant issue of if I don't see it very easily, my brain just automatically turns it off and I'll never be able to find it. Like if I'm looking for something in the kitchen and I don't see it instantaneously, it's just like, well, it never existed. I'll never find it. So I'm just going to say we're Santander, even though I'm not finding anything telling me otherwise here. We're going to try to at least get uh, maybe to a place I can... All right, let's go down this road. Let's... Go down this road. All right. I'm trying to at least see something. And I'm trying to get to the... I don't think we're going to get to the water here. Come on. Let me... Okay, I'm not. But getting back to the Amazon thing, I was looking at a couple of things as far as... Almost accessories, like maybe not necessary, but like maybe some quality of life things. Oh, we're in Karuna. I'm not seeing Galicia, so at least I'm not losing my mind. That's my only thing I was concerned about. Okay, this makes me feel like this is Brazil. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there we go. At least this is a. I feel this is a phone card. For Brazil. No, I feel that this is Brazil. <clears throat> now, the problem is, this goddamn country is huge. It's been a very long time since we've been in Brazil. So I guess that's a good thing. But now that we're here, I've, like, forgot how big this goddamn country is. And the stuff we got to deal with, trying to find out where we are. I don't know if this is going to be, like... I don't think I nailed it, but we'll see. But as I was looking at, like, the accessories, there are these... Uh, I've seen them before, but I, I'm, also I don't know if this is a sign of my age. But they're those, like, little bands you put on your kneecaps. I mean, it, it, I've seen, like, NBA players, basically giant seven-foot centers who the first thing that ever goes on them are their knees, and I always see them with it. And I'm thinking about whether or not it's good enough or smart for me to actually get that. And I don't know anybody 
who uses those things. And I don't know if it's kind of like a gimmick thing, kind of like those copper like wristband things are where they talk about, no, it's good for like magnetic polarization, getting you the good humors, you know, it's essentially just leeching for the 21st century. And I mean, if it's placebo and you believe in it and it works, I guess more power to you, but I guess I've sabotaged myself from ever having any joy in my life by thinking rationally and thinking that bands of copper along my wrist just won't work. But uh, if it works for you, great. Um, so I saw these things and I, I don't want to spend the money, but I just spent even more money on a vacuum cleaner. Whereas these things are a tenth of the price, yet I'm like hesitant to buy it, which is dumb. Like compared to other things that I've spent my money on throughout my entire life, I don't know why I've got a hang up now with, uh, spending 12 bucks for basically sweatbands for my knee that's the other thing that i am not wanting to deal with is uh, putting these things on and i always have this issue with just excessive sweating i have shitty jeans i'm very much what are we selling where'd you go my jeans are terrible i sweat like nonsensically we got some strawberries or are those tomatoes like i shouldn't sweat as much as i do it's awful I have shitty jeans. They should die with me. And whoa, this is a light. I shouldn't like instill slash um, punish any living human being with these. Oh, great! Now we got. Okay, we're 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 visiting Mos Mona Lisa or Paraguay. So I feel like maybe this is gonna skew my choice a little bit. I'm going to say Campo Grande only because it says visit Paraguay and I feel that they wouldn't put Paraguayan uh, posters and other propaganda up on their um, billboards unless you're close enough to consider it an actual destination slash vacation. Although this is kind of like jungle. Um, you see that kind of rusty dirt so maybe we're closer to the jungle which may put us farther up north but i'm gonna say campo grande oh so we were right on the goddamn border so i guess uh what i clicked before yeah we're definitely closer so i, I at least made a smarter choice and oh god look at that view once this stupid map gets out of the way Thank you. Wow. I like this place immediately. I think we've already told, figured out what I find interesting and fascinating as far as locales. That, is this German? I'm very oohed and odd about mountains, and I could give two shits about beaches to me. I am not a fan of beaches. Uh, can't make that out. Wait, is that dot .de? Uh, let me see if I can't get closer. Oh, f fucking sun's right there. All right, let's move this way and try to see where we is. If anything, we're at least the German Swiss, like this area. I'm just saying Kemp Kempton for now. And let's see if I can't narrow this down anymore. Let's see. Dot CH. All right, we're in, we're in Switzerland because you can't spell Switzerland without CH. <laughs> um, now I remember I either found or someone told me about the uh not displacement, not demographic, the dispersion of the different languages within the country of Switzerland. Christ, this is over a year ago now. I think someone sent me this. They say we're in winter thur. That, I mean, I'm only assuming that this seems more of like the German speaking Swiss, that they're going to be along the German slash Austrian border. But this, I, I wonder what Liechtenstein, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, 
This is Verit. I thought that was Vedus, and I saw that this was a sign for that. It is not. All right. What is the... Does Liechtenstein actually have a, uh, like, a URL for their country? I just want to go and see these mountains. It's a restaurant and a train. Oh, it doesn't look like they... Wow, this looks very cool. I want to hike these. Give me over. And this is some construction stuff going on here. All right. Nokian, good year. You got like moon boots on? What do you got? Oh, you're uh, like a municipal municipal worker. Look at this place. It's mountains covered in fog. This is awesome. I like this. Verbo. You can't tow a car if it's upside down. It's very inefficient. What does this say? 2C Tor. You know, that's something I don't actually think I've ever seen outside the U.S. It's kind of like, uh, there's a whole subreddit called for it. I think it's called like uh, Walmart parking lot or something like that. Where there's just those cars that have 8,000 bumper stickers on it. Or it's their entire um, conspiracy theory logic is just all over their car. It's either you think aliens are everywhere, everyone's a reptile, uh, it's like the super religious also can sometimes be it, and then there's also this the eccentric people where they just glue doll heads all over their car. Um, and that's the first time I've actually seen any um, non-U.S. car with, oh, we were in Switzerland still. What was the name of this town? Chur. All right. Good on you. All right, so this is America. Don't catch you slipping, no. Don't catch you slipping, no. I don't know where in... Go Bucket. <laughs> There's just something funny about going to a fast food restaurant and they sell you a bucket. Here's a bucket of food. And you just go in there and your give up outfit, sweatpants, and nothing else. High collision location. Yeah, everyone's just going to their black pepper pizza. Lingar Beauty Supply and Salon. No, I can't make out what that says. Um, so, either this is a legal weed place or they just don't give a shit. Let's see. Can't I suss this stuff out? .ca. So, this is Canada, apparently. All right. I was wrong. All right. Let's see if we can't find out where in Canada this is. Nothing's popping out to me yet. Um, yeah, this, this threw me for a loop. I was not expecting this to be Canada, but hey, that's great. Um, let's see if this dealership, City Carpet Cleaning. Okay, you're just lazy with your name. Oh, there was a bus stop. Let me see what this bus stop says. We've got Saskatoon. Ah, shit. We're in Skaskaskatoon. Uh, let's see if we can't find ourselves a uh, street intersection for Skaskaskatoon. Now, is Sas I think Saskatoon's a Native American word. Whoa. Okay, yeah, you are one of those just weird eccentric vehicles that you don't ever really actually drive. They're just there for looks. But Saskatoon, I think, is a Native American word. I just don't know what it means. Uh, let's see. I need an intersection with... Oh, here we go. We've got Avenue C. Man, you guys. Okay, we got Avenue P, W, N. Man, you guys really just did gave up on your lettering. Okay, we've got 
E's. No, no, no. We need letters still. H. We're close. As we see, north and south. Okay. So we got great. I'm gonna hit home, and I think I think I'm on the right road. You know, why didn't I just stay on this to begin? Okay, we're on Avenue H. All right, so now, what are we in the intersection of? 22nd Street West. 23rd, 20, okay, yeah, I think I've just got 5,000 parents, and that's not gonna get me to 2,000, or 20,000. Is the KFC, there's the KFC. We are actually, I'm gonna hit home. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, we're gonna hit home, we're actually, here. All right. Is there anything on here that I want to go see? Oh, all right. I think that's just the GPS being off. I think I'm 100% right. And great. Uh, feeling pretty strong about this one. This guy actually did a pretty good job as far as uh, diverse stuff. But middle of your week's done. I babbled on about whatever, but. If anything needed corrections or anything you want to mention, highlight, suggest, comment, concern, questions, whatever you want, leave it down below. I'm here for you. But we're going to be back here on Friday with another guessing of things in the world and be judged on a point basis. We'll see you then. Goodbye.